In the last session, we just uh, got introduction to transformer and uh, just ran one to one mapping without uh, having any conditions or something like that. Today we will see. I'll uh, start with uh, the transformer uh, navigation and what purpose we use and what all the things we can do with the uh, transformer and uh, how it is going to help us and how it is going to how we are going to work on the transformer. We'll see. The first thing uh, you can add some new columns even. Okay, before to adding the new columns, I'll just tell you what all the stages you can replace. First of all, so the basic stage that I have spoke, spoke to you regarding the copy operator, which in the last session, it can replace the copy operator. See, it's just simple. I am not doing anything. I am just dragging the input, which is in the left to the right. So when you drag an output from the transformer, when you drag an output from the transformer, you get this pan, output pan, and in that pan, constraints and derivations will be there, and these are the derivations part. And your constraints information will be stored here, and these constraints, if you want to open, you can double click on the particular output, and you can see the output link name, and based on that, you can add a condition here. And uh, apart from that, you can go directly to the constraints tab from the left, left hand side corner, top corner. And if you click on this, you can see the constraints. You can have all the input output links. I'm sorry, not input link, output links, constraints tab, and you can write some conditions here. And this is your stage properties. Uh, stage properties, as we see stage variables, which you're seeing here, and loop variables, and uh, this is below to that. And surrogate key, we can generate a surrogate key. We will talk about this while implementing type two. An advanced concept uh, in normal any stages we see this advanced uh, tab. A link ordering tab, however, we don't require this link ordering tab because it supports one input and it supports n number of output links. And the triggers condition says we can write some triggers conditions, PL SQL triggers. And analysis code, which is like uh, related to data architect, data stage architect level, and this is like uh, from different. Uh, um, Countries of languages we uh, we define NLS. NLS means national language support. So build this is like a common project, job or project. We can call some uh, flags, flags in the sense nothing but like uh, containers to override the job before previous job, uh, job dependency. Lot of information we can do here using build, but it is that doesn't require for us. So we have general description. So legacy null processing and about or null handling, null unhandled null. So these all options are like uh, there to discuss. Okay, we'll go to input tab, general tab, partitioning tab, advanced tab, and we discussed all the partitioning techniques. And however, all the partitioning techniques, whatever we discussed in whichever stage you see, the partitioning techniques will work in the same. There is no. Uh, something different from one stage to another stage, you have a difference, nothing like that. So every stage of partitioning technique will be processed in the same way. And next output, okay, process sort, random column propagation, this all we will see. Uh, random column propagation we have seen already, okay. So now I have just replaced a copy operator. So with this place you can use copy instead of uh, transformer or you can use transformer or I can use to copy with the transformer. Compile, fail. So this job will have a lot of uh, concepts uh, within the transformer because uh, the transformer is huge topic. It has a lot of stuff to discuss and uh, it has very importance to work in the real time event. And at the same time, you should be very careful to work with the transformer because you will see a lot of performance issues, performance degradation issues if you have more number of transformers. And within the transformer, again, there are a lot of trans uh, processing like uh, having uh, stage variables, uh, multiple stage variables and all. So we'll see uh, coming going forward. This conference will now be recorded. So this is the output uh, for the second uh, 
target that we have given. So this is what we can replace the copy uh, stage and uh, remove duplicate stage uh, max in every in every stage we can do that. So remove duplicate stage mostly we can do it in all processing. Uh, stages because in input partitioning tab uh, we can uh, perform this uh, sort in sort option we can get the unique concept and we can do and in which output I have did we'll see okay ds link three ds link three okay see now total three records I got so this is what about remove duplicate stage. If you do it with, uh, um, if you do it with, uh, department number, you get three records. If you do it with job, you get five records. And combination, if you do, you get nine records. That's what, right? We have uh, did, we have seen in remote duplicate stage concept in that video. Okay, this is uh, sort only perform sort. So, department number is I want to perform sort. So, we have a copy, we have a duplicate within the transformer, and we can do sorting. So that's what the um, that's what the benefit or the, that's what the uh, complexity or like uh, uh, functionalities uh, within transformer we have. So these all processing stages are can be uh, replaced with the transformer, single transformer. But thing is only perform transformer is like performance degradation stage because it it has uh, compiler as Java Java compiler and uh, because of that it makes some uh, performance issue. So that is the reason most of the people or most of the cases we don't go with a transformer for a simple cause. We just use the individual processing stages to. Different. Of course, with the join and uh, funnel and uh, uh, match lookup, these concepts again we cannot implement with transformer. That is a different case. Okay. So, this is what about uh, transformer and remove duplicates we can do with uh, some stage variables also that we will see as a scenario. Okay. So, coming to next, uh, I'm just removing this uh, partitioning technique, that means like keywords, uh, unique key values, and all. I'm just removing them. Now I'll get all 14 records again without sorting and all that. Okay. The next concept is filter. How how we can filter the data? See in DS Link 4 output, I'm giving department number. So these are all like uh, uh, variables that we have. And uh, I have uh, input column and in that department number equals to 30. So my, I'm going to filter the data, filter the data in fourth fourth output as department number 30. And in the second, uh, in the second output link, that is DS link 12, DS link 12, one second, DS link 12, I'm going to give 20, one minute.
This conference will now be recorded. We, by using these uh, constraints, uh, we can filter the data on these output links like DS link 20 and 30. So for 30, we have five records and sorry, six records and uh, department 20, I have five records. So now we are going to use the transformer as filter, as filter. We can replace now filter or switch. But here you can, uh, mostly you can say like filter only because uh, switch is having some limitations, but in filter as we have no limitations and here also we don't have limitations. So six records and five records. So like this, we can use the constraints to filter the data based on the output link we use constraints. And the next uh, derivation part. Derivation is to write a condition. For example, I'll take, and one more thing we can do with the transformer, you can add some new column, we can add some columns, and what we can do, we can populate data into that particular, we can populate data into that particular uh, uh, column. Okay, I'm sorry, uh, just muted. And so here, uh, the 30th department we have and 20th department we have, we can filter the data. So this will work like filter. And I'm telling you that we can add a new column. For example, I want to provide DEPT name. So DEPT name, what is that value? It is a var care. So when you give a new column in the output of DS link 4, automatically in the DS link of 4 pan, it will create a new column. So you should do modifications in your metadata, columns metadata. So this is your var care. And what I'll do, I'll just uh, go ahead and I'll select the depart DEPT table, select star from DEPT. So 10th department according 20th department's research and sales. Okay, I'll write the conditions now. So if uh, department number, so this is how I'm getting these windows, you just try to understand. Double click on this derivation part, right click. Once you right click, you get the pop-up window like this and you can use some functions and if, so here the cursor is, when you see the cursor, according to the cursor, you can see the windows. This is your, a small uh, macro ds macro and functions window in this way so input column if department number equals to i want so if now that the cursor is on, after department number column so according to the cursor place you get the pop-ups so you should be two only two pop-ups will be there one is the function tab list and this is the another logical operators list concatenation substring and r okay so if department number equals to 10, I want to provide a value 10. So string value I'll give and I'll provide as 10. Then what I want to print, I want to print accounting. I want to print accounting. Then after then I'll give string again. So what string I want? Accounting. So again, if I want to print else, if department number equals to what I want to print for uh, which uh, string 20 if department number equals to 20 then what I want to do I want to print as research so in the EMP table how many departments I have three departments only so I'm going to give research and else. So else is the only 30th department. So by default, else department I'll give as sales. If it is department number 10, I'll give accounting. If it is department number 20, I'll give uh, research. And if it is not these two, then what I need to print by default, I want to print as sales. So the 10th department will be sales. So this is what a derivation part. This is a derivation window. 
So we'll see whether it is working properly or not. In which output I given, DS link four I have given these conditions, and I'm just removing the filter because if I get filter only 30th department, I get the data to the output. I don't want to make that, so I'll just remove the filter condition. That is constraint. That I'll remove that constraints. So I'm running the job. So I got 14 records in DS link for only. I have uh, the new column that I got uh, created. So see now. 20th department research, yes or no? Yes. And 30th, 20th, uh, 30th department sales, 10th department accounting. So this is the way you can write some conditions in the derivation part of the column. This is your transformer. In the transformer, you can add new columns. You can generate new columns. You can say column generator, we can replace column generator. So that's what, it's like a heavy asset means lot of functionalities we can do within the transformer like uh, that are using derivations constraints and stage variables system variables again we have a lot of uh, uh, concept like uh, system variables ds macros ds macros we use to get a, um, what do we say like uh, audit table to create audit table, routines, job parameter, input column, stage variables, if you have anything, it will be enabled, loop variables also the same way, it will enable once you have any loop variables, system variables, we'll see these all, and we have uh, you know, functions, string is just to supply, provide a value, provide a value, I'll just give the input column for now, and one more thing you need to understand according to the cursor your pop-up windows will come okay it is not like exactly uh, every time you get those pop-ups the pop-ups will change okay here i'll stop uh, i'll stop uh, for a while because uh, i don't want to make all the concept within the single video i want to split them so i'll stop here with this and to our next class we'll start with stage variables and some or else like we'll go with ds macros and all this window will cover so this is what about uh, uh, transformer it's like basic level we haven't gone to high level just replacing the stages we are seeing okay so we'll go for the next level in the next uh, video thanks for watching thanks for your time